Hi, everybody. Welcome to our travel webcast called The Road Traveled. I'm Judy Adams, and I'm joined here today with Melissa Barkalow. We are your leisure travel advisors, and today we are very excited to be talking about a beautiful property in South Carolina called the Wentworth Mansion. And we are so fortunate to have our special guest, Ms. Nicole Turner, who's the innkeeper at the Wentworth Mansion, and Ms. Jenny Sievers, sales manager from Charming Inns. And obviously, Melissa and I are here as well. So we're going to talk today about a variety of topics. Um, we're really lucky because Melissa is actually at the Wentworth Mansion right now, so she has some firsthand experiences. We're going to talk a little bit about the history of the property and some of the things that you can do um, in South Carolina related to the property, um, Southern Charm Hospitality, a variety of activities, as well as what they're doing in terms of health and safety protocols during this pandemic time period. So Melissa, I'm going to turn it over to you to start doing some questioning. Great. Thanks, Judy. And thank you, Nicole and Jenny, for joining us this morning. Well, thank, thank you. you. We're happy to be here. So you, as Judy mentioned, I'm here when you have a great location in historic Charleston. And it's a historic property. What can you tell us a little bit more? It's a property that's built in 1886. Uh, yes, it is. It was originally built as a private home in 1886 um, to the Rogers family. Um, and as best as we can tell, it was built um, in early 1886. There was an earthquake um, later in August, um, and there is just a little bit of evidence from that earthquake um, on the exterior of the building. So we know it was completed sometime earlier in that year, um, but it was a large family. They had 13 children. Wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, and you know, they had a lot of people working on their property as well. So it was a very large home, um, very large carriage house that sits on the back of the property that, um, house um, some of the the male servants that were working here at the time um, so there are um, lots of areas throughout the property that we've been able to utilize today as part of the hotel and then i was fortunate to get to go through a couple of rooms there's some levels on the lot there's some rooms on the lobby level that are handicapped are there other handicapped rooms in the property there is actually only one truly ADA compliant room on the property. Um, it is located on our garden level, which is easily accessible from the ground floor. When you actually enter the lobby of the Wentworth Mansion, you're actually ascending a set of stairs from either the front or the back of the building. So in order to have an ADA compliant um, room, we do have access from the ground floor either directly to the room or through another entrance on the ground floor. This, uh, it oozes charm. All the rooms that I saw, and you can speak more to, they all have high ceilings. A lot of details, are they still original to the property? They are. They are, yes, yeah. ma'am. Some of the flooring, the woodwork, some of the chandeliers as well in the Grand Mansion suite, we have two original Austrian crystal chandeliers, um, the Tiffany stained glass, original to the mansion. Mm -hmm. So quite a few original fixtures that are original. And even down to the hardware that you see on the doors, the doorknobs, um, the detailed hinges, um, those are all original. They're beautiful. Thank you, we think so too. <laughs> How many rooms, guest rooms are there? 21. 21. It, the hotel is kid friendly, are pets allowed? Yes, actually, we are family friendly. Um, I would say the majority of our guests are here for romantic getaways, but we do have some families that come to join us for stays. Um, smaller families, some with smaller children. Sometimes we will have a mother daughter getaway. Um, or, or family getaway. And we are pet friendly as well. We do allow dogs in our garden level rooms, um, which are also on the ground floor of the mansion with easy access to the outside. And I believe there's fireplace in every room, as I know there is one in the room I am in. 
there are actually uh, two rooms that we have that don't have a fireplace. And then what would you say are the busiest seasons? How far in advance should one look to book? With uh, well, spring and fall are always going to be our busiest seasons. And we have um, different activities that take place in Charleston throughout the year. So anytime that we have festivals um, or you know graduations and things like that, that is going to be a busier time for us. Um, spring and fall, have all of our home and garden tours as well as its wedding season. Um, so I would say that that's going to be um, the prime time to visit. The weather is also perfect as well. Um, I would suggest making reservations. Um, it, depending on how many people are coming, if it's if it's one room, you know, a month maybe plan a month out. Um, but if you're planning to bring um, multiple guests and have several rooms, I would suggest um, three to six months. Great. Good to know. Um, I was, a, oh, go ahead, Melissa. Sorry. You, on, also on site, you guys have a spa in circa 1886, which we had a spectacular dinner sitting outside under the lights, I have to say, the other day. Yes, so that, um, that is our restaurant um, and spa that sit in the original carriage house. Um, we, um, we are having dinner outside these days, um, and we do have two dining rooms, um, our main areas inside, which sit in the original um, section of the carriage house that uh, hosted the carriages. Um, our spa is actually positioned where the original stables were. Mm -hmm. And there's on-site parking, which was super handy. And the lovely gentleman ran out and greeted us and assisted <laughs> us with our luggage as well. We're on a road trip, so we have, I overpack, I fully admit. Um, I wanted to ask you um, ladies a question since you are yes. obviously on site. Tell me what your favorite, um, dining options are in your restaurant? What are your favorite entrees and appetizers, that kind of thing? Uh, well, Chef's menu is so great because he does change it seasonally. Um, so, you know, he does have the same style of cooking, but depending on the time of year and he wants to have the most um, fresh produce available, um, the, the items will change. Currently, the chocolate souffle that we have on our dessert menu is my personal favorite. I, that sounds so well, good. <laughs> I hear <give> her. <laughs> um, and I know yesterday we talked a bit about that squash cake. Um, yes. And that has been a favorite of mine. And he's actually um, tweaked that dessert um, to remain on the menu, just changed a couple of the components to it. Um, so that one has stayed with us um, since the winter, which I've been really excited about. And of course, for our guests, we offer an exclusive um, full breakfast each morning only for our in-house guests, which is an excellent breakfast. Yes, I've tried something different every day. <laughs> there's what, about eight items and great, I've been sitting by the window being able to look out at the courtyard. Uh, as right now we're going through COVID, what are you guys doing to help any guests feel more secure in coming and visiting? Well, as far as our staff here at the Wentworth Mansion, we are taking extra precautions by wearing personal protective equipment. We wear masks and gloves. We are uh, disinfecting hourly throughout the building, wiping down any door handles, um, anything that would be touched by anybody. Um, so we're definitely taking extra precautions. We're also right now not really offering traditional housekeeping service. Um, rather than entering rooms, once a guest has checked in, um, we are asking that guests um, put out any of their towels and we'll refresh their towels with trash. Um, and that's to protect our staff and the guests as well. We can offer that service. Um, however, we would disinfect the room completely. So it would take a little bit longer for us to offer any traditional housekeeping service at this time. 
and we're just kind of playing it by ear, listening to what the governor is telling us, what the CDC guidelines are um, in order to keep everybody safe here. Sounds like you've got that under control, so that's very reassuring. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to hear that. Um, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the holiday season. I know one of the benefits of Charleston is that it has a relatively temperate climate. Can you tell me anything special that goes on in the mansion regarding the holiday time period, particularly festive season? Well, uh, at the Wentworth Mansion, um, we do offer a package that um, connects to circa 1886. So circa 1886 offers two different holiday events. Uh, one is our Dickens dinner, which is a storytelling dinner that we offer three nights um, in December. And um, it's a four course dinner um, that does have um, traditional English inspired dishes. Um, and we have a local storyteller who tells the Christmas Carol. Um, throughout dinner. So there is a package that the hotel has um, in connection with that. And also we offer at the restaurant um, throughout, it starts the Friday after Thanksgiving and runs through December 23rd, we offer a progressive dinner. Um, and that event um, takes place nightly, Monday through Saturday. Uh, we're closed on Sundays. And it offers um, hors d'oeuvres at a sister property of ours, Kings Courtyard Inn. Um, and then a carriage will pull up, the guests will board the carriage, and it will bring them here to the restaurant where they'll have a three course dinner served in the dining room. And then they'll board the carriage and go to another sister property of ours called the John Rutledge House Inn. Um, and we host um, a dessert reception in their ballroom. That sounds so we, amazing. Sounds amazing. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's a really fun event. Um, and you know, it's that, that event in particular sells out pretty early on. Um, usually by July, we've sold out all dates for December. Wow. So yeah, that's definitely one to plan ahead and put on a calendar. Absolutely. What would you recommend? What are some of your favorite things to do in Charleston, be it walking distance from the Wentworth Mansion or getting in a car? Um, I would say for downtown Charleston, um, we're located in a more residential, quieter section of downtown Charleston known as Halston Village. Um, we still are only about five blocks from King Street, so very walkable to the shops and restaurants. Um, galleries on King Street and walkable to um, the Battery in downtown Charleston where you can see some of the old antebellum mansions, uh, White Point Gardens. That's about a 20 to 25 minute walk from here and all of the sites in between are beautiful. You can cut down some of the old alleyways that are located in downtown Charleston. There's old cemeteries, churches, um, I think that we have more churches per capita than any other city in America. Um, so as far as downtown Charleston, it's a very walkable city. It's not very big. Um, I think that the peninsula is three miles by three miles. So you can kind of walk all day long, take pictures. You can do a walking tour. There's a lot of the attractions are reopening as of this week. Tours are reopening. As far as getting in a vehicle, we have beaches here. Um, we're 25 minutes from the locals beach known as Folly Beach, uh, another 20 to 25 minutes from Isle of Palms, which is another beach on the other side of Charleston. Um, and you can also visit some of the old plantations, Magnolia Plantation, Middleton Plantation, which I know that you were able to visit this week, which is great. Um, and Boone Hall Plantation reopens today as well for the Memorial Day weekend. Wow, it sounds it sounds and looks amazing. I've been very fortunate to have visited Charleston two times. Once in the downtown area, um, we stayed, and then I also stayed in Isle of Palms to do some fabulous golfing. We've got mm. some great golf courses in Charleston for sure. We do. Yes, indeed. Well, ladies, I cannot thank you enough. Melissa and I are so happy that you joined us. It's just a pleasure to learn about a property like this that, you know, is well taken care of, is intimate and located in a city where 
almost anybody can go and find something to do. And that is a really, really big deal, especially right now. So if you're listening and you're interested in planning your own stay at the Wentworth Mansion, please reach out to myself or Melissa. Our information is below. And if you're listening to this on one of our social media platforms, you'll know how to get um, in touch with us regardless. So there you go. I would like to thank you ladies for joining us. And I would like to thank our listeners for listening. We hope you have a great day and um, our hashtags are a better view travel and go and see the world. Thank you so thank you. much. Thank you, thank Nicole. Thank, thank you, Jenny. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. It was a pleasure.